SuperIQ is referring to the control of a product using the Trimble proprietary controls known as Field IQ. There are several hardware components with Field IQ that can be used. The main hardware component is Field IQ rate and section control module. This module can also come in two different variants, one as a rate only and the other a section only control module. These components are the main components needed to control the rate of application and individual section switching. In addition to these components, you can have the option of a master switch box and a 12 section switch box. These provide a physical switch for key functions. In some situations, the master switch box is a mandatory component. It is necessary to have a master switch box if you are configuring an NH3 or anhydrous applicator or setting up a seeding application using linear actuator as the control type. Within Field IQ, you also have the option of setting up and configuring a seed monitoring module. This module can be used for population monitoring and row blockage monitoring on seed tubes. The last component that is typically seen on self-propelled sprayers is known as a signal input module. This is a module that can take the analog input from original switches, converting to a CAN-based signal and integrate it into the guidance display. Before setting up your Field IQ controls, Make sure that the hardware has been detected and updated to the latest version of firmware. If the device is not detected, you will not have the option to access the configuration screens in the setup. Create your new implement and select Field IQ in the application device. Then select the number of channels you are intending to configure and set up with the control of Field IQ. A channel is referring to the product itself, for example, a boom spray would typically have one channel being the main liquid tank, whereas an air cart could have up to three channels consisting of a liquid, a seed and a fertilizer channel. This example will set up one. If you were to set up more than one channel, the process is just the same and repeated for each channel. The maximum number of channels that can be configured will depend on the version of the display you have installed. The XEN 750 display has a maximum of two channels, the XEN 1050 display has a maximum of 4 channels and the XEN 2050 display has a maximum of 6 channels. To configure more than one channel on any display, you will require the multi-product control license. If this license isn't present, you will not be able to configure more than one channel. The maximum number of channels is referring to the total combination of channels, whether it be ISA bus, field IQ, virtual rate control or serial rate control. You can also add Field IQ flow and application control to any existing implement. To do this, simply edit the implement and select the application control tab. For information regarding the setup of operation and implement tabs, please refer to the basic implement setup tutorial earlier. In the application control tab, select the channel that you want to configure and press modify. Enter the name of the channel and select the material type that it will be controlling. The type of material selected here will determine some of the settings in both the section control and rate control tabs. If your implement configuration consists of more than one channel, you will have the ability to define whether or not this channel will be the primary channel. The primary channel is referring to the default channel that will be displayed as the coverage map on the run screen. Coverage maps for subsequent channels can also be viewed by simply pressing the control channel in the run screen itself. The Use Switch Box option gives you the ability to link this product to the 12 section switch box or have it run independently for manual control of individual sections. Material assignment can be done in the initial setup or later when configuring the materials being controlled by the implement in Material Setup. Refer to the Material Setup tutorials to understand how to assign and configure materials. It is critical that both the application fourth back offsets be set correctly as well as the initial implement setup measurements and vehicle measurements as all of these measurements accumulate to calculate where each individual section is in relation to the GPS receiver. Incorrect measurements will lead to inaccuracies in section control and may result in missed or oversprayed areas. If unsure on how to set up offsets correctly, please refer to the basic implement setup tutorial. For section control and rate control setup, please refer to the section and rate control setup videos.
The Adjustments tab will alter depending on whether you have a master switch box connected or not. With a master switch box connected, you can configure a jump start speed, jump start timeout, and a shut off speed. The jump start speed is referring to when the master switch is held into the momentary position, a simulated speed, which is defined here, is applied to the control system, and the implement will apply product as though it is travelling at this ground speed. Jump start timeout is referring how long this simulated speed will be maintained. If set to zero, the jump start speed will only apply when the master switch is held in the momentary position. If a jump start speed is entered, for example, 10 seconds, the jump start speed will still be applied for 10 seconds after the momentary switch is released. After 10 seconds, the simulated speed will stop and the control system will use the current ground speed. If the ground speed exceeds the predefined jump start speed at any time, the system will revert to the ground speed and use that over the jump start speed. Shut off speed is referring to the application being stopped when the ground speed drops below this predefined speed. With no master switch box connected, you have the ability to turn on or off the auto jump start speed. With jump start enabled, you can predefine the jump start speed. There is no switch for the jump start speed and this is more as a predefined minimum speed. If the vehicle is moving below its nominated speed, you will see the icon on the run screen indicating that the auto jump start speed is being used rather than the current ground speed. It will use this jump start speed until the vehicle exceeds the predefined number set here. When auto jump start is disabled, the configurable jump start speed changes to the minimum shutoff speed. This is the speed in which the implement will turn off application for this channel if it drops below the predefined speed. Use the arrow forward to configure the next page. The virtual tank or bin can be enabled or disabled. With it enabled, you will see a visual indication on the main run screen of the current tank volume. You can define the units to display, but this will be defined by the material type selected earlier. Fill capacity volume is referring to the total volume of the tank. Again, this is defined by the material selected earlier. It is also important to note that the volume of this tank or bin is not related to the material density. Warning type can be selected as volume or percentage. With this setting configured, select the level that you want the system to warn you. Use the next arrow to view the summary tab. After configuring your field IQ control channel, you can see if there are any current errors in your configuration. If there are no errors, use the tick to save your settings. If there are errors displayed, Rectify them by using the back arrow. Once setup of the application channel is complete, this should be indicated in the setup column. Continue to